Hello and welcome to our podcast. I'm Risa. <laughs> I'm Ariana. And we're the Chromeister Sisters. Just as a reminder, this podcast is rated T for Teen for strong language and mature themes. Um, if you want, I don't know, a different podcast, whatever, then, um, <laughs> you know, not mature themes, then you can go to uh, Her's Very Own Unlocked. I'm sorry. I was startled because there was no countdown. Oh, I apologize. Except I don't really. So oh. on Unlocked, they just talked to um, the woman who was the uh, producer for the dossier games. Oh. You know, all two of them. There were only two? I thought there were yeah, three. there were supposed to be three, but the third one got shelved. Oh, that's right. Yeah. So, yeah. Resorting to danger and then lights camera danger or something yeah. like that. <laughs> I, I think I played lights camera danger. We played both of them, but we played both of them we when they did. were free on that yeah. app on your computer. Yeah. Um, which so we got awesome. like most of the way through them. Yeah, that was No, fun. no, no. We completely finished them because as long as you didn't close the program... It yeah. didn't count as the free trial well, being over. <laughs> some, some of the, some games just timed out and and yeah. closed. But yeah, that that was a great free game thing. I know, right? <laughs> I played so many good games that way. So, yeah. speaking of good games, what are we talking about today, sister? Today we're talking about Haunted Carousel. Oh, Haunted Carousel. I made Ariana play this on the stream so <laughs> I could remember what it was about. Yeah. Um, actually, sister, mm -hmm. you made us talk about it so that you could remember what it's about. The, the game was actually voted on. That's true. By everybody. See? Yep. People voted. The and people spoke and they know, wanted Miles' just... Magnificent Memory Machine. Miles' Magnificent Memory Machine. Exactly. Um, which I, yeah. Amazing. <laughs> but, um... I liked that someone voted on it just because car spells out a word. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I don't know what it is, but car spells out a word. So I'm just going to vote for that one. I loved that. Okay. Works for me. So what do we well, like about this game? Um, I love me a good empty amusement park. That's true. Slightly it, creepy, but also fun. Exactly. It's really, I don't know. That's always kind of, I think that's the the childhood <laughs> dream you're like walking around an empty um amusement park <laughs> yeah pretty much <laughs> that, that, that's a that's something that sticks with me yeah definitely um i like the carousel i like mm. just carousels in general mostly because yes. like we had good childhood experiences with carousels so we did <laughs> you know as i just... said during the stream we uh we had the, the carousel in Balboa park that we you know went to all the time and Risa and I like to get the um, the brass ring. Which was really gold. funny. We went for the gold ring. We did. Which was really funny because I was a very small child. Like, I was very <laughs> small. But I could... I was, like, hanging onto it like a monkey. Yeah, you should have fallen <laughs> off of it like Nancy did. Yeah. And gotten fired. Um, <laughs> I'll talk about that in a bit. Um, <laughs> also, we decided this one has a really good premise. Like... Yeah. It's it's actually just the story idea is really cool. Mm -hmm. in my it's opinion. not it's not necessarily executed to the fullest extent. It's do, it's not <laughs> done badly. It's just it, they could have definitely done more um, um, because it was a good premise and a good like even even the, the side story with with yeah. joy like the side story I, like, was a good premise. I thought we could have definitely gone more into um, yeah, um her dad. Being... And it was just, like, three things, too. That was also weird yeah. to me. It felt like it could have been much longer, the things yeah. that we were doing for it. But I'll get into that in a second. Okay. <laughs> um, not even a second. That one's a little further down. But, um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it just has a fun, just, like, a fun atmosphere, I feel. It does. The music helps because it's got that, mm -hmm. like, you know, amusement park music to it. Definitely. Mm -hmm. huh. I like it. I like it a lot. Oh, I love, I love, I, I love the whole place. The, the, just, just as a set. Yeah. It's great. I love, I love Ingrid's workshop. I love, um, what's his name's workshop? Elliot. Elliot. Thanks. I'm like Chen. I don't know his first name. <laughs> um, wow. I love his workshop. I, 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 I love going into the like haunted house and I love, yeah, I love all of it. Yeah. I agree. The haunted house is one of my favorite parts of it actually. 
one of the yeah. favorite like areas that we can walk around because it is really <laughs> creepy and it is the fact that it was like a converted ballroom ends up really it ends up feeling really um i don't know it makes me think of like belmont park and stuff yeah yeah no exactly because those who don't live in San Diego, um, <laughs> Belmont Park is um, a very old um, amusement park sort of thing down by the beach. Um, and there was this, like, ballroom mm -hmm. that got converted into a all swimming kinds pool. of stuff. There's, this, there's the, the swimming pool. And at one point, wasn't it, like, a skating rink or something? Yeah, it became something else. And then it's been restored to being a swimming mm -hmm. pool again. Because it's, mm -hmm. like, one of the biggest saltwater swimming pools and like the state, maybe I don't know the country. Who I knows? think it's really silly to have a saltwater swimming pool <laughs> right next right to the next ocean. The ocean. I agree, <laughs> but, but yeah, that's just what they do. It's fine. I think that's part of it. In my brain, like my my, my brain's mixing up the am amusement park with um, Belmont Park and yeah. a little bit of Disneyland for some yeah. reason. It's just like yeah, yeah. It makes me feel like we should have been able to go to like bumper cars or something, right? How cool would that have – like, like instead of getting trapped underneath um, like the, the, the rail thing for, for the roller coaster, There's instead like – a, a yeah, rogue you... bumper car that's trying to mm -hmm. attack. Oh, my God. That would have been great. Yes. I mean, it would – they would not have been able to do it in the <laughs> in the game itself because at that – at least at that time, they did not have um, – the uh, game well, developers to... <laughs> you wouldn't necessarily have had to... It would have been like no, the I same know. kind of thing, like something's coming at you, but like yeah. like with the boulders that, yeah. in other games, and you just whoo, jump out of the way. Definitely. So what don't we like about this game? <sighs> the fucking phone calls. Oh I'm not going to lie. Literally. I hate that every time I go to go into a goddamn building, I get a phone call and I'm stopped and I'm distracted. It's very difficult for me because I'm very easily distracted. <laughs> And I feel like it's also just like, you're trying to do things. You're trying to get things done and people keep fucking interrupting you. That's part of why I hate um, Shattered Medallion so much. Why it's so frustrating for me is that every time you're almost done with something, it's like, oh, it's been completed. Now I'm going to shove a cutscene in your uh. face. So in this one, it's, uh, oh, you want to go do something? No, 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 no. I'm going to shove a conversation at you that you can't just get out of. You have to fully do this conversation. There's no, yeah. there's no getting out until you're done. It's like... <laughs> Yeah, the amount of stop right in your tracks between the phone calls and um, um, Mr. Mr. Security Guard. Harlan? Yes, Harlan. Um, him shouting over the, the, the system, the PA system. Jesus Christ, I just lost all words. I think the alcohol just totally hit. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> between those things, there's just a lot of stop right in your tracks. Yeah. Stop what you're doing. It's like, you no, have to come here. I want to play my game. Well, Nancy Drew, please come. It's like, oh my God, fucking leave me alone. I can't do a Harlan. I just realized I, there's no way. I was about to Nancy try. Nancy Drew, please. There you go. I was like, I was about to try. And then I was like, no, no. <laughs> you know what else I don't like? What? Uh, Nancy being a little snitch on, on Harlan. She I doesn't know. even know that he did anything wrong. She She's just like, knows did that you he know has he's a record. A did you know he is, like, a con? It's like, oh, my God. It's like, Jesus Nancy, Christ. Come on. He did but, his time, woman. Man, it's just like, come on. You are you grew up with the whole criminal justice system going on around you. Like, I feel like Carson would let her, would, like, educate her on the fact that these are people. <laughs> like, it's like Carson is the kind of person who would make sure Nancy knows that these people all deserve, like, the benefit of the doubt and stuff because... You know? Yeah. I don't know. It's, 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 it's like, it's like, Nancy, I mean, convicts, they, they, they can work. They can continue to have life. I know. And they, they just can't vote. I know. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> but yeah, so that's one of those things. <laughs> I'm just imagining Nancy stopping voter fraud. <laughs> no, don't you know? He's a convicted felon. Oh my God. Shut the anyway. fuck up, Nancy. Um... <laughs> I don't know why. I, it always feels weird to me in games where they make her, like, do weird judgy things. Because yeah. Because it seems so out of character for me, especially in the later games, mm -hmm. when they started doing the, like, oh, that's pretty smart for a guy wearing boots. It's like, what the fuck, Nancy? Yeah. When have you ever been like this? It's like, so, we make her this, this, this like, 
open and 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 just you know accepting person and then we give her weird little judgy things they're not even like sensical judgments like the boots thing it's yeah. like yeah, what that's is something this? that's killing me. That that kills me. Um, what I don't like about this game is that it's so goddamn short. Um, it is short. This game, like Ariana did it on stream in four hours. Four hours. I, and that was her, you know, walking around, not getting everything like on the first try, getting interrupted by phone calls and getting, you know, right. off track because of it. <laughs> but it's just that's such a Me short having game. trouble finding tissue paper. Yeah, that too. We were all so supportive of you when you finally found it. It's like, yeah, like when I you did like it. when you beat Barnacle Blast. We were so happy for you. <laughs> that was very yeah. It was good. very exciting. I feel the love in the stream. I know, right? <laughs> but um, another thing. Mm -hmm. Um, oh, but yeah, I remember. Even when we were kids, um. It was really short too. And it was the hardest one for us to find, if I remember correctly. We ended mm -hmm. up finding it at like Best Buy in like a four pack with other games that we'd yep. already had. So we were just like, I guess we got another fucking Scarlet Hand. Yeah, I was gonna um, say, look, <laughs> see the Scarlet Hand. Oh, look, another one. Um, but yeah, it took, that was like when we were waiting for Blue Moon Canyon to come out. Mm -hmm. We went back and got all the other games. Um, so. We had gotten most of them before Clock, uh, Secret of the Old Clock came out, but there were some that were a lot harder to find, which was, you know, Ghost Dogs of Moon Lake, and fucking Haunted Carousel was so hard to find. Yes. Like, it was ridiculously hard to find, and I remember these were in the days when we were, like, on, like, baby Amazon, being like, please send it to me, and they, <laughs> they didn't have it even, so. Yeah. But yeah. It's insane. Was and then and then it was so disappointing because we finished it so quickly. Yeah, I honestly didn't believe you guys that I was gonna finish it. I was like, I'm not gonna finish it in the next <laughs> few minutes. What are you talking about? I There's gotta just, be a whole other part to it. I, I was, like, I remember there being more to 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 joy and everything. Yeah, I did too. Which is why when you were doing it, I was like, how much of this game is left? And so I went to the walkthrough and I go down at the very bottom, and you were like, literally, on the last paragraph, and I was like. <laughs> Oh, it's not worth you setting it all up tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Pretty much. It was like five minutes. It's like, oh, it was, okay. It was. Well, you got Nancy killed, though. It's always fun. I did. I did. I got her killed. <laughs> so, you were saying that, like, the execution isn't that bad. I disagree. I think the premise is good, but the execution is terrible. No. No, I said the execution. Uh, well, I mean, okay. I think it's terrible. I think they did a really bad job following through. And for me, the biggest way they did that was how they made the characters. So we'll get into that in a second. But I feel like that was their biggest downfall on the execution. <laughs> so speaking of characters, who's your favorite character? Miles, the magnificent memory machine. Exactly. Miles is ridiculous. He is. He's a bit of a snitch. I didn't remember yeah. him being such a butt, but at the same yeah. time... I clipped that, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> Love it. Miles. Snitches get snitches stitches. Snitches get stitches, Miles. Nancy I... Drew entity. Oh, shut up. No, no, no. Shut your face. Yeah. Easy bake you oven. You snooping. <laughs> shut the fuck up, Joy. <laughs> um, but yeah, he's... You I'm... are snooping. She's I'm not even worst. trying to imitate her at this no, point. I'm she's... just, I, this is my, uh, it is the impression she leaves. <laughs> yeah, so Miles is great. Um, that says a lot about the other characters, though, that we pick the talking radio. I will usually pick something like an inanimate object or a, an animal as my favorite character. Let's be honest it's here. The, the dog is my favorite character in Darkness, so... I don't remember yeah. the dog's name at this moment. Uh, is it the T? Is it? No, it's, definitely not. I don't know. It's a two syllable one. It That's is all I remember. Two syllable. Um, Very cute dog. Best character in C. <laughs> best dog. <laughs> um, but also, I, I do like Ingrid. Um, yeah. Ingrid's great. I, re I, I remember being more irritated with her than I was. I was like, yeah. oh, no. She's. But I 
don't like, sorry, I'm going to like power through you. Apparently I apologize. Um, (laughs) What I don't like is how everybody acts about her. It's like, Jesus people, we just came out of the nineties. Like I would, these granola munchers are not like, (laughs) to be fair, we Uh were in California in that time period. Whereas they're in New Jersey. New Jersey. Yeah, Yeah. I guess. That's like the, the difference. I guess. It Still was, though. It was commonplace in California for people to be, you know, that. Yeah. But um, not so much that's, on the East Coast. That's true. No. <laughs> but I do, I like Ingrid. I've obviously, if you've listened to our podcast before, you know that I like Ingrid. Um, <laughs> but I just, that's another thing where we get super judgy again towards Ingrid. Yeah. Too. Right? Nancy does. And she jumps to so many conclusions about everyone. Oh, oh, she's buying something expensive. That she must be-, must be committing insurance fraud. She's like, no, I checked on his well-being because I'm not a shit piece of human being. Yeah. Like, n- no, I just wanted to make sure he was using witch hazel. It's like, that's not really useful in this situation, but... She's mistaken, but... Well intentioned. Well intentioned. <laughs> God, Nancy. <clears throat> She's just, you know, it's just a conflict of interest. It's fine. So those are our favorite characters. That's it. Those are those are the only characters in this game that we can stand. Yeah. Like, pretty we're much. just gonna put that out. That's I not mean, true. Harlan Elliot. Oh wow. <laughs> we went different we ways. We went different Little, ways. You, Harlan honestly, I can deal yeah. with. He's he's sweet, but he's, he's just okay. not He's mayonnaise. Yeah. He's mayonnaise. He's, much. you know, useful, but not something that you say is your favorite. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, and then actually Elliot, uh, as far, honestly, aside from being um, a bit of a douche, he's honestly kind of, he's just, he's entertaining. He's not bad. He's not, uh, he's just, he's like, oh, hey, distract me, please. <laughs> like, Okay. All right. He's, I don't know. I like him. I think he's too much of a douche. He's totally a douche. But when has that ever, like, mattered? Sister, do you not remember the people we were friends with in high school? No, I know. And I don't talk to them anymore for the most part. <laughs> and there's a reason for that. Yeah. <laughs> so who are our least favorite characters? Well, the only one we didn't mention in um, our... <laughs> or the only two, I guess, that we didn't mention... Um, for one thing, Joy, wet ass blanket, Trent. Yeah, um, Joy is. Uh... I hated her even more than I remembered. Oh, it's terrible. It's just like listening to her voice just makes me want to scream. Mm. And it's just she. I can't get over like that character because one, it's just written so poorly. It's like all of these things. It's like, I don't remember that. I never rode the carousel. It's like, I'm pretty sure that your father, who was an adult at the time. And it's also like, the, ha- that's not the how child memory wouldn't works. have ridden the carousel. That's not how, the, how memory works. And I feel like that's my major issue here. Is that, that too. you don't that just have thing one thing happen. Like being told the name of the horse and then suddenly remember it completely. And also, I cannot get over the fact that she told, she's like, I told my dad to destroy it because I blamed it for my mother's death. It's like, who would listen? First of all. You are four first, years exactly, old. Who would listen to a four-year-old on something like that? <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to destroy this horse that we just spent a shit ton of money on. Yeah, that's going to happen. Yeah, right? And no. Two, fuck that. Even like children don't. Their brains don't work like that. Yeah, so, his brain, sorry, I'm I'm imagining m- m- my boyfriend's niece like doing that. I sh- no, no, I don't see that happening. No, I work with four year olds all the time. No, that's not it's not how their brains work. So that's stupid. The writing here is stupid, and that's that's my huge problem. Guys have weird expectations of children. <laughs> yeah. Also, I think that's that's pretty common for them though. Also. I don't want to do any of these incredibly simple tasks. Nancy, you need to do them for me, despite having it having nothing to do with your investigation, and you getting nothing out of it. You know how these are supposed to be about me thinking? 
and, 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 and about things that I know technically. Well, how about I have somebody who has no idea about anything that's happened in my life because she just met me 10 minutes ago. Have her go look at these things and maybe she'll remember for me. Yeah. No, no. I call full fucking shit on this. Yeah. It's like. I would have hit her in the face. And it's just, that's just ridiculous to me because. And then Nancy just does it. She just goes and she just does it. Like what? She's like, I respect your father leaving puzzles. <laughs> Nancy respects everyone leaving puzzles. That's like her <laughs> exactly. shit, man. She's like, no, I can't leave it undone. It's it's a puzzle. Exactly. Um. Also, fucking, I'm just gonna just come out and say it. The worst character in the entire game is Paula fucking <laughs> Santos because she's the worst boss. She's a huge fucking bitch. Like I like I understand firing you if you burn down a hotel. But, yeah. like, oh, no, you fell off the carousel, which shows that my carousel was not safe and you could probably sue me for it. So you're fired. Or you've got a wood piece in your eye. You're fired. Um, electrocuted yourself while in danger of almost getting run over by one of my roller coasters. Fired as fuck. <laughs> she fires you for everything. It's like, you fucking, like, I understand. You short out the 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 entire system of the amusement park you, you fry the electrics that that's an offense that maybe but then but then again, again it's because one of your people who you uh, take a hands-off approach on managing yeah yeah i'm way, sorry you take um, a fucking hands-off approach and this is this is what mm. yeah uh, i don't see a fucking hands-off approach um but i'll be i'll be back to that but because one of your <laughs> people gave us a soldering gun Without giving us any instruction on how to use it. <laughs> so really, you should be firing Ingrid, not us. Additionally, additionally, <laughs> I still have no idea how I did that. <laughs> You're just like... Solder, solder, solder. Okay, it worked. <laughs> it worked. After the first time of it not working and... It was so stupid because it was just like... I, I loved that we had someone in the chat who literally yeah. does that for a living. <laughs> and she was having like a fucking field day on how terrible that circuit board conniption. was. It was like, I loved no. It. <laughs> <laughs> loved it. Um, also, Paula, hands off approach. Really? You call us every five fucking minutes. Right. But then again, yeah, she qualifies it with, I usually, I hire the best of the best, so I let them do their best. Does that mean we're not the best of the best? Is that why Apparently. we're getting micromanaged? Evidently, yeah. What Get a bitch. Out there. Although I still, I still don't think that she is the worst boss. No. Like, I, I know. We already know. No, Chantal. I got some comments on the, oh yeah, I saw that. <laughs> Chantal Malik. Chantal Malik. <laughs> was the worst fucking boss i'll agree mm. with you there paula is pretty she's pretty bad i have to admit but she's, yeah i forgot how bad she was though i mean aside from the the firings honestly she's a, she's not bad she just is like she fires you for no good reason but like that's yeah, just, but that's, just america. <laughs> that's just america man <laughs> She's an American man. She's an at will state. She's an independent contractor. Yep. Fucking know that life. <laughs> so, what's our favorite puzzle slash moment of this game? Oh, sh I like the band organ stuff, honestly. That's okay, that's true. I like yeah, all I was going to say it's not terribly puzzle heavy. Yeah, and uh, the puzzles mm -hmm. we do have to do are more like a string of trying to figure out riddles. I feel that's the thing. This game is a lot of riddles and having to figure those out. It's not so much on puzzles, which ends up being kind of like nice in a way because you're not yeah. stuck doing like, you know, nonograms for an hour. Um, that's true. Which is nice. I, I appreciate that. Albeit you are stuck doing that stupid fucking Barnacle Blast. The Barnacle Blast didn't take as long as you think it did. <laughs> it, yeah, but it coulda. Yeah, it could've. But, um, if we do a lot of, like, practical uh, problem solving in this one, I feel. So it's like, 
we need to get the first few notes of that song in the band or in, on the band organ. So we have to figure out Ugh. how to find out which notes are being played. So we have to go around and find the tissue paper to put on there so we can mm-hmm. figure it out. So I liked that. Yeah, no, that's nice. I don't know. Puzzles, eh, band organ. Uh, I, I don't know. Something about it was lackluster. I understand. I get that. Because there weren't really any puzzle puzzles. Yeah. I'm a, I'm a puzzle person. I need the puzzles. So it's like, I feel like a, a game that has a good puzzle to practical thing balance is like Ghost Dogs of Moon Lake. Mm-hmm. Where you still have like having to figure out turning the, turning the dogs and stuff like that. So you have real puzzles. As well as, you know, I need to test the water before I get to use it. Yeah. <laughs> so, it's like, I feel like it was, it's very. Well, even if, I don't know, even if it was more of the fetch questy stuff, I would have been. Yeah. It's just, it's, it's falling it's under the part where there was, just wasn't enough to do. What? It's not enough game. Yeah. It's like they gave up. <laughs> they, they had like a nice skeleton going, but then like they just. Crapped out on the organs. Like. But not on the real organ. Because there was a band organ. There was a band organ. And I I really loved um, the person who, who was like, wait. Are, if, the, if, the, if, the, if, the, if the player is, is broken, how is, it, how is it being? I was like, wait, that's a good question. Hold on. Let's find out. <laughs> CD. Got it. Got it. Got it. Yeah. I liked, I liked the questions. Catch me on my toes. It was fun. What's our least favorite puzzle slash moment? I say it's anytime I have to talk to Joy. Anytime we yes. have to talk to Joy is my least favorite moment of the game. Yes. And I just don't feel like there are enough puzzles for there to be the worst one. Yeah. Um, I mean, while I like going to the haunted house and I like the idea of it, I feel like it's a bit of a letdown. Like, because yeah. it feels like there should be more to it. And it's like, Ugh, how, uh, I don't know. I also feel like Nancy walks into a trap, picks up some pliers, almost <laughs> gets killed. And then she just walks out. She doesn't say anything about it. She doesn't make a single comment until she gets to Ingrid. Yeah. And then when she gets to Ingrid, she goes all judgy again. You know, I found your pliers after someone tried to kill me. Mm, it's like... You know, you seemed not very affected by it, so... Yeah, it's like, you know, um, some crash. It's like every time that someone tries <laughs> to kill us in, in Shattered Medallion. Right. And we're just like... We're just nonplussed. Oh, well. <laughs> this just, this just happens. This is my life. I guess it's the... Oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's pretty much it. There's not much to dislike. Just like I... You know? Things yeah. just sort of happen. They just happen. They just happen to us. We just yeah. let them happen. Um, <laughs> I mean, honestly, it, that entire game is just it, Nancy. Man. Just, it really is. Nancy's just going along with everything. Hey, you, do this thing for me. Yeah, all right. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I don't <laughs> Whatever, have anything man. better to do. I mean, like, I guess I'm on a case, but. <laughs> like, I guess that I was hired to do a thing. But no, I'll, I'll help you find the silvery remains of a. I don't. <laughs> yeah. I'm. I'm in it to find a fucking skeleton. Day. Silvery remains. Skeleton. <laughs> Silvery oh, remains man. of a good day. Skeleton. It was Definitely just skeleton. a horse. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wooden horse. <laughs> and here I thought that it was a spoon. <laughs> The silvery ring. I don't care anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so what's your crackpot theory, sister? Um, okay. I don't know if we've ever said this one before, but um, my crackpot theory mm-hmm. is that Ingrid mm-hmm. is one of the Anunnaki. I like it. That's that's why she's, She's you one know, of the testers. Yeah, she's just one of the testers. So that's why she, she doesn't understand human biology very well. And that's why, you know, the witch hazel and, nice. you know. And that's why oh she God, eats sorry. Niacin. That's my favorite line in the entire. Get your nice and deficient little body out of here. And I'm like, yeah. ooh, oh, throwing shade. But yeah, sort no. of. I-, I love it. <laughs> yeah, I love that good. one. Um, mine is that um, <laughs> in you know the accident that happened to Joy's mom, 
it was very Full Metal Alchemist, and uh, Joy's dad <laughs> actually um, reached back and grabbed her soul and bound it to Miles. Oh, shit. <laughs> so. Man, yeah. Joy's mom was kind of a snitch. Yeah. She's a fucking snitch. Fucking yeah. snitch. So uh, that's I, th- those are our crackpot theories. We'd love to hear yeah. your guys's. Um, <laughs> Right, so you can tell us uh, if we're wrong about this game. You want to tell us it's amazing and we missed out on some awesome shit. That'd be cool. Let us know. Uh, on You can tell don't us on our... you. Yeah, I really don't because Ariana literally got the award saying that she explored every nook and cranny. So um, <laughs> I'm going to think she probably explored every nook and cranny. Um, <laughs> but if we are wrong... You know, please tell us on our <laughs> SoundCloud, our YouTube, our Twitter, our Tumblr. Um, I almost said Instagram, but we don't have one of those. We don't got that. No. Um, mm-hmm. And just as a reminder, you guys can now subscribe to our Twitch. Uh, you do that. You can you can get a little little emote, a little mm-hmm. wine glass to tell us when to drink during <laughs> during streams. Um, and also, you can now shower us with change. On Twitch, you know, you can't just come into my house and throw pennies at me. But it's basically what you're doing with showering us with basically bits. Basically what you're doing. Basically what you're doing. So, uh, just as a reminder, I'm Marisa. <laughs> just, as a, just, just to make sure you know, I'm Ariana. <laughs> and we're the Krollmeister sisters, and we're asking you guys to stay sleuthy.